This video will cover the installation of the glow plate for the Dodge Charger 2006 to present models. Okay, lean both seats forward by pulling the straps on the side of the seats and undo the carpet seam at the rear base of the seats. If you do have the police edition, refer to the owner's manual. Those have some special clips that need to be triggered before you can lean the seats down. We're going to mount the glass now. Look for the two rectangular shaped protrusions, areas of the carpet that uh, rise out in the shape of a rectangle. Here they are, right next to the clips that hold the seat back. That's where you're going to put the glass. There's two cuts in the glass that'll fit right over those protrusions. Okay, keep in mind that once we mount the glass, the tabs are going to be totally hidden behind the rear seats and the only thing you're going to see is the uh, top of the display. So again, the wiring and the mounting system, all of that is going to be totally hidden. At this point, it would be useful to have a partner to give you a second set of eyes to help you balance it, but it's not absolutely imperative, so you can do it on your own. But we're going to need a center point uh, to affix the glass to the panel. And when we're talking about left and right, this uh, clip right here in the center is on the center of the rear panel so you can use that to line up with the center screw on the uh, metal bracket on the bottom of the product and as long as you've got it matched up with that then you should be golden. Here's a close-up of the rectangular area of the carpet that sticks out. Once you've got it looking good and the way you like it simply press down on the glass tabs where the die cut velcro is and it should adhere to the panel rather nicely. If you do need to reposition it, you can. And that's the great thing about it. There's no permanent modification. You can always pull it off anytime you like. That being said, we do have return customer specials if you do want to swap them out for maybe like your favorite football team or racing logo or something in the future, you can always do that. So as you'll see here, the uh, wire is going off to the passenger side and the graphics are facing the rear of the vehicle. Uh, that is important on both counts. If you opted for the 12 volt rechargeable power system um, so that you don't have to hardwire it, all you do is mount that to the side carpet panel and plug it in and turn on the switch. Uh, however, we are going to proceed now with the hardwiring instructions uh, for the uh, running lights so that the product will come on anytime you uh, turn on your car at night or hit your alarm. Okay, with the hard wiring, we're going to bring the wire under the lip of this panel and straight behind this carpet wall on the side going back to the passenger side tail light. So as you flip your seats back on it, it will hide a portion of the wire and then the rest of the wire is going right here behind this carpet panel. And I'll show you how to remove that to get the wire behind it in a future step here. Okay, at this point we need to gain access to the harness that's behind this passenger side carpet wall near the tail light. Remove the rivets and the screws that hold this wall in place. There may also be a little hook you have to remove. There is a, uh, a ring that's shaped like a D that you have to pull uh, very hard actually. <clears throat> uh, you may have to rock it from side to side while you're pulling it. Um, here's an example of one of those requires considerable force to pop it out but don't give up it will come out once you get all of these uh, pulled out and screwed out um, when you pull the carpet wall back you'll need to uh, take the light out as well and that kind of pops through the carpet so that you can gain access to the uh, wiring harness behind that wall after you get the rivets and the grommets out you'll have to pull this trunk liner out it's pretty easy to do this rear plastic panel in the back is held on by several clips. Pull it from the bottom first to the bottom out and then pull it directly up. So there's a couple of clips on the front side and there's a few on the top side. Now you may have a model that has rivets here instead of clips and if so you'll just need to pop those rivets out. Alright now we can go ahead and pull back the carpet wall. Pop the light out and punch it through so that you can pull it back. Remember to undo the rivet at the top by the bar or you won't be able to pull the carpet out from around the bar. 
but then we're going to be looking for the plug that's going into the tail light. There's some wires coming off of this plug going into the tail light. Okay, once you have the panel removed, you'll look for this plug here going into the tail light. Now there should be four wires on the newer models. Um, there's a different harness that I'll show you right after this for some of the er earlier models. Um, but this one has four wires. We're looking for the ground, which is the far left black wire. And then we're looking for the white with orange tracer, particularly the one next to the black wire shown here. Um, that is going to be our power wire, the white with the orange tracer. We're going to hook up to that so that we can get power anytime the car comes on at night and your running lights are on. Uh, it will turn off automatically when your car goes off. It will also come on when you unlock your doors at night in the parking lot, uh, along with uh, you know the, your running lights. Okay, here's the harness I've seen on some of the earlier models. Um, it does have more than four wires. As you can see, it has probably six or seven something like that. Anyway, the black wire is still going to be the ground, but the uppermost left purple and white wire is the power wire that we want. Um, there is more than one purple and white wire, but if you're looking at it from this position, uh, the top leftmost purple white wire is the one that you want. If you opted for the dimmer control, extreme lighting kit, 12 volt plug, any of the accessories, please refer to the instructions that came along with those in the box. There is another step. Uh, however, this video has shown you where the power wire is located as well as the ground wire is located. Okay, so here's how to use this vampire clamp that we sent you. Place the wire coming from the product, the power wire, into the side that has the stop in it. Push it all the way through until it stops. That's past the metal tooth all the way to the plastic stop. Then you get the wire that's in the harness that I've shown you where the power wire is located into the side of it all the way underneath the metal tooth. So the first wire you push it into the side until it stops just like this all the way and then the second wire you clamp into the side of it. Once you get them both under the metal tooth simultaneously grab some pliers make sure that the wire doesn't back out as you're clamping it but clamp it down with some pliers all the way into both wires at the same time. If one of the wires backs out even a little bit it's not going to get a good connection. So afterwards give the wire a pull on both sides. You can clamp this shut if you know that it's clamped if it's a bit you know bit in there properly and pull both wires on each side to make sure that it doesn't come loose. Now you'll do the same to the negative wire from the product going to the ground wire that I've showed you in the harness. After you've got the power and ground hooked up and any accessories you may have ordered hooked up, um, the installation should be complete. Go ahead and button back up the panels and uh, tape the connection up that you just made so that there's no loose wires hanging. Um, run the wire behind the carpet panel that I showed you in a previous step and make sure that all the rivets are back in place. Um, turn the vehicle on and your headlights on. If you do have it set on auto, if you're in a dark spot, it could should come on automatically. Um, if for some reason the power connection, uh, if it doesn't light up, then you'll you'll want to redo the power in the ground. Um, but make sure that you know the car is started and your and your running lights are on to check it and um, enjoy the product.